Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Great Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically how to install shared caches and basically how to build shared caches on the Yuzu emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, basically, this process is very simple and easy. I'd say the most difficult part is trying to find um, basically share the cache to the certain games you want to play on the Yuzu emulator. And this is when this site comes in handy. I'll basically leave you the link in the description down below. This is, they basically have share the caches for mostly all of the popular games that, that people play on the Yuzu emulator. So if you need any game for Luigi's Mansion, Pokemon, Smash, they basically have the share the caches for it. So, right here, um, we're obviously gonna need it for Pokemon Sword and Shield, so we're gonna click on the, oh yeah, by the way, these are mostly work for OpenGL. Uh, they have some that are for Vulcan, but most of these are OpenGL. As you see for Super Mario Odyssey, they have OpenGL and Vulcan, and they have shared caches for uh, Smash Ultimate, OpenGL, and Vulcan. So, do keep in mind, most of these are OpenGL, due to the fact that Vulcan is still it's kind of at beta stage as I'm recording this video, but in due time, it's going to get better and better. And then obviously we're going to have shared caches for Vulcan. All right. So this is the open GL for Sword and Shield. I'll leave the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. And then after here, just download this. And it's going to come as a RAR files or you mean something like 7-zip or one word to open it up. And then I'm going to open this up. Go and minimize this real quick. And then I think here we're gonna go to we're gonna left click our game and open transferable shader cache. And what we do here is drag and drop this for that load up. And then right here we close this and then we're gonna close this. Make sure we're gonna check if it's there. It's right here. Close that up. Open up the game. Now to basically build shared caches is obviously you just play the game for a few minutes. I cannot show gameplay because I, I well, this video will get claimed. So that's how you basically install shared caches on the Yuzu emulator and also um, how to build shared caches pretty simple and easy on um, you just play the game for like a few minutes or a couple minutes 30 to an hour and then you, that's how you basically build um, stable shader caches and then you can share with anybody and within the user community that needs um, a little bit more stable shared caches that have a lot of them so yeah that's basically about it pretty simple and easy guide straightforward if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is Barbara Tone. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.